Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a very easy pivot table using Pandas. You only need two libraries to actually run a pivot table in, in Python using Pandas. You need the Pandas library and you need NumPy. And of course you need to load in your data set. So let's get started. I'm going to load in the two libraries under the standard aliases NumPy and PD for pandas. I'm going to load in my data, which is an avocado data set, under the variable DF for data frame. So there's our data. We can see that we have a price, we have volume, uh, we have different types of avocados and we have a region. So we want to be able to summarize this data in a pivot table. I'm very interested in the price per year across the two different types of avocados. So to use a pivot table to answer this question, I need to load in the pivot table function, which is PD dot pivot dash table. So let me load that in. Now to actual use this function, you only need two parameters in the beginning. So I just want to show you how that looks when you load in just the standard parameters, which would be the data set and the index. So our data set is DF and I, the index that I want to have is actual year. So let's run that and see what happens. So what it's done is it's taken the index of year and it summarized all my data into those four years. And the default summary is mean. Now we can change that and I'm gonna show you how in a few minutes, but let's go back to my original question. I wanna know what the average price is per year per type of avocado. So I know I'm only interested in the value of average price. So let's isolate that first using the value parameter in the pivot table. So I have my values and let's run that. Now I have the average price per each year. But maybe I want to see that broken up into two columns which would break it up as conventional versus organic. So I can add columns using the columns parameter. And I want my columns to be broken up using type. Now you have all of the years and that broken up into the two columns of conventional and organic. Now let's remember that this amount is an average because the default aggregation is mean. So let's change the default aggregation to median or count or sum. But for this, let's do, I'm interested in the median price. So we can do that using the ag function. Ag func. So I'm looking at median price. And the last thing that I'm going to show you for this is how to get the subtotals, which would be the totals across the rows and columns. You can do that by using the margin parameter. And this is just true or false. So there you go. You can see that we got the median at the bottom and we have the median on the for each individual year and column. So remember that we can easily change our pivot table. It's not limited to one index. Maybe I want to see what the average price is per year and per region. So I would just add the value here in a list because in order to put two values, we need a list. 
and I said I'm interested in the average price so I'm gonna go back over to median and change that into mean and let's now we're looking at year region average price so now I have the average price per avocado type per year per region and we have that also we have the total average in the end I hope that helps thank you